Hello and welcome to another uh, Swift tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to continue talking about data types. The last tutorial we talked about integers and uh, the limitations of integers and now we're going to talk about floating point numbers. Floating point numbers are, are fractional numbers um, and fractional numbers are numbers that contain a decimal point. Um, in Swift uh, floating point numbers are a lot larger than integers um, and this has to do with the underlying C language and what it can handle. Now let's go ahead and open up our playground. Just take a look at a couple uh, floating point numbers. So get started with the playground. And we'll call uh, we'll call it float. All right, hit next. Then create. And this will open up our playground. And once it gets open, we'll create a couple uh, constants that contain floating point numbers. And they're very easy to decipher what a floating point number is. So let's just do let a equal 5.4. I'm sorry, fat finger hit 4. So that's a floating point number. Notice the decimal point. It's a fractional number. We can do let b equal uh, 6.3. All right, that's also a floating point number. Let c equal negative 98.9. That's a floating point number. Let d equal 8.0. That's a floating point number. Let uh, e equal 4. That's an integer. All right. So floating point numbers always have a decimal, and they're a fractional fraction of a number. All right. So in the previous, uh, when we worked with the integers, we saw that there's different um, precisions in what um, Swift can handle or what our operating system can handle. Like uh, 8-bit, for example, was a very small integer. Now in floating um, floating point numbers case. There's two different ones. There's 64-bit, which is a double, and the 32-bit, which is a float. And the 64-bit uh, precision's uh, down to like 15 decimal point numbers. So it would be like something like 0.15 and then 15 numbers. I'm not going to count these out, but something along those lines I guess um, the precision's all the way down to that where a 32-bit system which is considered a float uh, is something half that so it'd be uh, I'm not sure it's six or seven um, not 100 percent sure if this is actually six or seven one two three four five six so something like that. So you can see that uh, we'll just call this double, double, and then float. Double is more precise. It also double is um, uh, the default in Swift. So if we didn't specify which one we want to use, it's going to use double. It's going to use a more precise version of floating point numbers. Now. Take note, we're going to talk more about floating point numbers in the future when we start doing mathematical equations that both these numbers aren't always going to be precise. They're not always going to be spot on and that has to do with conversion of float um, fractions to floating point numbers. They can't always be spot on and that has to do with uh, the precision of these numbers. All right. <coughs> Now in the previous tutorial, integers, we, we looked at the maximum and minimum maximum uh, numbers that we can have. Now in this case, we can do that, but we need to import a module, something that will give us um, the ability to better interact with C, and that's called Darwin. We haven't looked at importing uh, modules, but we will. This one is called Darwin, and it gives us the ability to work better with mathematical equations. So in this case we're going to do uh, let float oh, float minimum equal 
uh, float min, and then we'll do let double double min equal dbl min. All right. And what this is going to do is going to return to us the floating point minimum number and the double minimum number. And if you look at this, this number is rather large. Like I said, uh, Swift's uh, floating point numbers can be handled at their lot larger numbers. And this one's extremely large right here. All right. And then we can also do let float max equal float and max, all right, and then let float, or let double, sorry, double max equal dbl max, all right, so this is going to return to us the floating point max and the double max, and as you see, these are also very large numbers right here, and uh, floating point or double is bigger than floating point or float I should say not floating point double is better bigger than float on both areas because it has more memory to deal with like I said float here is 32 bit system and double is 64 bit all right so if you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at swifttutorial.online, and we'll see you in the next video.